Good evening and welcome to the 2020-21 Conroe ISD TSCA Conroe Salute to Education. My name is Curtis Nall and I'm proud to be your superintendent. Thank you for joining us tonight. I want to wish all of our educators watching tonight a very happy Teacher Appreciation Day and Teacher Appreciation Week. I hope that you are being loved on and shown how much you're appreciated on your campus each and every day, but especially this week. If there was ever a time to appreciate teachers and educators, this is it. What a year it's been, and yet you've overcome every obstacle along the way to make sure that our kids have a successful school year. You know, when I talk to people that aren't educators, they always visit with me about, wow, it's neat that you have a job that matters. It's neat that you can feel like you're serving the community through your work, and, and that's true for us educators. We know that we make a difference, but the challenge that we always talk about is, we know our job matters, but we know that it matters each and every day, and it matters every moment, and it matters for every child. And that's a lot of pressure, it's a lot of work, and it can make us really tired, but it's days like this, it's weeks like this, where the community pours their love in to tell you how appreciated you are and how wonderful you are that makes it all worthwhile. Now, I'm appreciative to get this opportunity to share with you tonight uh, this salute to education, and we miss being in person. I wish that we could do this in person, and next year we're going to be back at it. But being online has its perks as well. So hopefully we have people that are joining us from all across the state and all across the country that are tuning in tonight to celebrate their winners and be a part of the celebration. So we appreciate you. We welcome you to Conroe ISD, and we're glad you're with us tonight. I want to say a very big thank you to TSTA Conroe. Um, if we can recognize our board members uh, who have really made this happen, that a lot of work goes in to this event, whether it's in person or uh, if it's virtual. So thank you to our executive board members, Carrie Freemeyer, our president, what great work uh, this group does. And these are all Conroe ISD educators uh, that make a difference every single day and promote the education field. So thank you to uh, TSTA Conroe and their leadership for letting us be a part of tonight's event. Now, we have an exciting night to celebrate. We're gonna celebrate rising stars and humanitarians of the year and friends of education and teachers of the year from each campus. And we're also gonna make a live breaking announcement of our district-wide teachers of the year. We actually have finalists for both elementary teacher of the year and secondary teacher of the year here with us in the building tonight. And so when we make that announcement, we'll bring the finalists in that's actually been the winner. We'll get to introduce them to you live this evening. So that's going to be a highlight that's going to be coming. But before we get underway, our board of trustees who support everything that we do as educators have a special message to all of our winners tonight. So let's hear from our school board. From all of us on the Connor ISD School Board, congratulations on your award. Thank you for all that you do. Congratulations on being selected at your school. We are so proud of you. Thank you for all that you do. Congratulations on winning this prestigious award. We at Conroe Independent School District are so honored to have you working with us to serve our students here in Conroe. Thanks again so much, God bless. Congratulations on being selected for this award. I want to thank each and every one of you for going above and beyond and for being the model representation of what an educator should be. Thank you for caring so much for our kiddos throughout the year, throughout your profession, and we continue to salute you for all that you do and all that you continue to do in education. Thank you. I'd just like to say congratulations to all of the winners. We thank you so much for all of your hard work and your dedication to our students. This honor is well deserved. Even though we've had a very challenging year, you, all of our award winners, went above and beyond all expectations. Congratulations to all. Congratulations to all of you who have been selected as this year's award winners. We are so proud and appreciative of all that you do for Conroe ISD to make our schools better, to make our students better, and we are so proud again, and congratulations. Thank you, President Hubert and the Conroe ISD Board of Trustees. We are fortunate to have such a great group of men and women who believe in us, care for us, and want us to be able to have all the tools needed to do our jobs well each and every day. I will also share with you, because I think it's very appropriate that this vote happened during Teacher Appreciation Week, that at just last night's board meeting, 
Our school board approved a 3% raise for all Conroe ISD employees for next year and a 5% raise for our bus drivers. So thank you to our school board for not only believing in us, but, but showing that and investing in us as well. Now, let's move to recognizing our honorees for this evening. We're gonna start with our Rising Star Award winners. These are teachers that have zero to three years of experience uh, in the education field and they are seen by their principal as an up and coming star. These are our future uh, great teachers in our building and they probably already are great teachers, but one day they're gonna be master teachers. We can see that in them already this young in their career. And so let us now uh, see our rising star award winners. Congratulations to our Rising Star Award winners. We look forward to the great contributions you are going to make for years to come here in Conroe ISD. Now our next group is another special group to be recognized. These are our Humanitarians of the Year. So these are non-teachers in the building that promote a great climate and culture. It may be cafeteria workers or custodians, front office staff, even police officers. But these are the people that are truly the heartbeat the heart and soul of a building. Now, I don't get a vote in these campus awards, but
but I'm going to take a little bit of liberty here tonight to say that I believe in this year of COVID that all of our clinic staff, nurses and clinic aides, as well as our custodians, truly deserve to be recognized as humanitarians of the year. So from me to all of our clinic staff and our custodians, I say you're deserving. We're thankful for you and all that you've done. We appreciate your efforts. But now let us celebrate those winners from each campus, the humanitarians of the year. Watching that slideshow, it's very evident why those people were chosen as the Humanitarians of the Year. I feel better just for seeing those smiling faces, and I know that's the effect that they have on campus each and every day. So congratulations once again to our Humanitarians of the Year. Now, you can't have great schools without a great community. What we do on campus every day as a staff is really important, but we're only made better when we have people from outside of the building come in and make a difference with us. Sometimes it's through mentorship of our students and sometimes it's volunteering in the front office or whatever it may be, 
people from our community come in and they help make us better each and every day. And so we have an award for them. It's called our Friends of Education. And we'll share with you now the list of our Friends of Education and we'll, we'll let each slide uh, be on the screen here for just a few seconds so that you can see that. Um, we have a few slides for elementary. Once again, we're gonna let it sit here so that you can see, um, but you see a variety of people. You see churches often, you see PTOs, you even see students involved who, who go above and beyond um, the call. Um, for example, be blessed there with, with uh, Bailey Cowart. Once again, here you see more people like the Lions Club, you see HEB um, listed, you see parents and volunteers. Uh, one that I would point out here on San Jacinto Elementary, you actually see the principal from McCullough Junior High making a difference at San Jacinto Elementary. That's amazing. Um, Pastor John Sherrill of Declaration Church, who has made significant donations to change the lives of children in the Grand Oaks feeder zone. Um, we're so thankful. And then uh, once again on our secondary level, you see great PTO volunteers like Stacy John, who does so much in the Caney Creek feeder, but everyone involved, Montgomery County Food Bank, uh, Mr. John Cisneros, uh, very active in the Conroe High feeder as well. But to all of our friends of education, thank you. We could not do what we do. We could not change the lives of children without you making a difference as well. And so we're so appreciative. We thank you for, for that contribution that you make. Uh, we know that you don't have to do that. It's a choice that you make each and every day. And we're proud to recognize you today. So thank you for that. Now we move to uh, our Teachers of the Year. Now each campus in Conroe ISD uh, is allowed to submit one name as Teacher of the Year. And this is a very prestigious award because it is voted on by the teacher's peers. So there's typically a process that goes on and nominations where many great teachers are nominated and then through a voting process they get to that point where they have one teacher that is selected as the campus teacher of the year. So it is quite an honor when you think about the size of our schools. We have very large schools so even an elementary school may have 70 or 80 teachers. When you get to a high school we're talking you know, 300 teachers possibly. Uh, so to be the one teacher that stands out amongst your peers, to be recognized as this is the teacher that best exemplifies what great teaching is in our building, that's an honor. So let's meet these distinguished winners.
Congratulations once again to our great Teachers of the Year. Truly an honor to be chosen by your campus to be representative of what great teaching is. Now, from the Campus Award, now we move forward to the District-wide Teachers of the Year. In Conroe ISD, we select an Elementary Teacher of the Year and a Secondary Teacher of the Year. So for all of those great award winners that we just saw, they are then asked to submit an essay. And that essay is sent off to professors at Sam Houston, and I think we have a list of those that we can share with you. Uh, this committee is chaired by Dr. Wally Barnes. Wally used to teach for us here in Conroe ISD and has moved on to Sam Houston. I believe he actually retired from Sam Houston, and yet he still finds a way to pull together this great committee uh, that, that reads the submissions blindly, and then they come back and share with us who should be the winner. And so uh, what we'd like to do this evening is what we've historically done is to share portions of that of their essays tonight. And so we're going to start first with our secondary teacher of the year. We're going to share with you excerpts of the uh, winning essay. They will be read tonight by Katie Morton. She is uh, a specialist in our communications department. So she is going to be uh, reading those essays and then we will meet our winners this evening. The aha moment. That moment when the proverbial light bulb goes off. Many people enter the teaching profession so they can help students experience these special moments. And these experiences are indeed incredibly special and rewarding. These moments, however, seldom happen in isolation. It started in junior high. I have always been fascinated with the complexities of the human body and its abilities to heal itself. I have always found myself in the role of helping others. So at the age of 11, I decided I was going to become a doctor. It seemed the perfect fit. One day, while helping create a bulletin board for her classroom, my mom asked if I wanted to be a teacher. I laughed and said, no way. I've seen how hard you work. I went to college with my career path set for becoming a doctor. Then I took organic chemistry, the death knell for so many who want to be doctors. For the first time ever, I was not sure what I wanted to do with my life. Then I saw a commercial for the Peace Corps. Right there and then I decided if I couldn't help people by being a doctor, then I would help people by saving the world. I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Ghana, West Africa. For two years, I taught biology in an all girls secondary school. And for one year, I worked with kindergarten students in a deaf school. It was in a Ghanaian classroom. I first observed a student experience of an aha moment. And I first experienced the joy of being a part of the process of discovery. My husband and I moved to the United States in April 2001. One of the nearby school districts had a program where people could teach while working on their teacher certification. Fortunately, the district hired me to work in their special education behavior program. Since then, I have been working with students who have emotional and or behavioral concerns. Education is about accepting who I am and who my students are, honoring our strengths and what each of us have to offer learning to take risks and being willing to learn from each other and then sharing what we have learned with others. Each day, my students and I go through a process together that involves self-awareness, courage, compassion, and risks so we can continue our learning process and the realization of our own knowledge. We embrace our differences and learn from our mistakes. We celebrate our successes, as small as they may be, and reassure each other during times of disappointment. We do this not in isolation, but together, with a sense of connectedness to ourselves, our classroom, and our community. And we do these things knowing that tomorrow will look a little different than today, because learning is a process, a process that grows and evolves like each of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to announce to you this evening that our Conroe ISD 2021 Secondary Teacher of the Year is from Caney Creek High School, and it is Miss Eden Young. Miss Young, congratulations and welcome uh, to our broadcast this evening. Thank you so very much. I'm very, very honored. I know that we um, we sort of brought you here under false pretenses <laughs> a little bit, uh, so we, we thrust you here onto live TV. Uh, but we're so proud of you, and uh, what a wonderful essay! And we know that you uh, have been focused on doing life-changing work, but. Do, do you have anything that you'd like to share with, with all the teachers out there, or maybe young teachers, or, or any words that you'd like to share with us? Um, well, first, I'd like to um, give a shout out to the team at Caney Creek. Um, I truly believe 
that somebody standing here represents all of the wonderful things that are going on in the building, not just with the staff, but with our kiddos. And uh, we have some amazing kiddos and some amazing team members. And for me to be here representing them is an extreme honor. And I'm, I'm very humbled with that. Um, for the new teachers coming, um, I would say hang in there and be you. Um, if you are genuine to yourself and if you are genuine to doing what's right for your kids, then it's always going to work out and it's always going to be good and something good will come out of it for the kids in the long run. So be good, be you, and uh, do it for the kids. That, well, that is wonderful advice. Um, so what year teaching is this for you? This is number 20. Number 20. What <laughs> yes. a wonderful way to celebrate the 20-year anniversary in education. Uh, it's such a deserving honor. I know that uh, your principal, Dr. Stickler, is here with you today. And, and yes. as you said, I think this is a celebration for all of Caney Creek. And uh, I know that he is excited as well and certainly well-deserved. So once again, our secondary teacher, the teacher of the year is Miss Eden Young from Caney Creek High School. Congratulations. And thanks for being here and sharing this evening with us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, now we will make that transition to our elementary teacher of the year. And once again, it's the same process that occurs on the secondary level occurs on our elementary level. And Katie is here once again to read some excerpts from the winning essay. In my classroom, I open doors. No, I'm not talking about politely holding the door open so my students can enter the room. Though some of you may already have an image of me in a smart bellhop uniform standing with a broad smile and a dignified pose, holding open the door to a high-end hotel. That is not what I'm talking about. As an art teacher, I open doors to experiences. Herein lies the beauty of teaching through art. It does not matter where a student's abilities level off. Giving a child an opportunity to experience creating something of their own by using everything they have learned up to this moment is what leads to their success. I want each student to be excited about creating something that belongs to them and in which they can take pride. Creating art builds confidence and helps them to succeed in all other areas. My students learn to respect each other and each person's varying abilities. Some students who may struggle in other academic areas shine brightly in the art classroom. Students learn to work together, showing respect for each other's diversity of experience, appreciation of person's contributions, and accepting of differing tastes and backgrounds. When it comes to teaching through art, there are no limits. There are no wrong answers. The world is literally at your fingertips. You can create anything you can imagine. Share your experiences. The door is open. Walk through. I'm proud to announce this evening that our elementary teacher of the year for Conroe ISD hails from Runyon Elementary and its art teacher, Ms. Teresa Stewart. Ms. Stewart, congratulations. We're so glad that you're here. Thank you so much. I am, I am so honored. I, I'm actually speechless. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, this is a big moment, and I think uh, to be emotional about that is normal, and, and uh, I think we would all be in that situation because it is truly what I see the caliber of teachers that we have throughout this district. So to be recognized as the teacher of the year is a huge, huge honor. And uh, maybe would you share with us a little bit about uh, why you're so passionate about teaching or any advice that you would have for other teachers or maybe young teachers? Well, I just also want to say thank you so much for uh, bestowing this, this incredible honor on me. I am just so humbled. And thank you for letting me teach um, art in Conroe ISD. Art has allowed me to open doors to experiences to my students. And it has always been my passion and my responsibility to open as many doors as possible for my students to succeed. And I always think back um, of a student who I taught all the way from first grade um, all the way up and she has now in college and actually chose a career in art and a big moment for me was when she was in a Western art and I was at the show and she came and got me and she said, come, I want you to meet my, my high school teachers. And we went up and, and met with them and she said, this is the reason why I'm here and it's because of Mrs. Stewart. And that right there um, 
says to me that I have done my job and I have opened those doors for my students to go through to be successful and to succeed and do what they do best. Yeah, that's Thank the, you so much. That's the real win, right, for, for all of us. Like any, any of us, and it's, it's, uh, it's tough because we only get to recognize one teacher of the year for the district each year. But I think for all of us as educators, that's the real win, right? When you, when you see these children and they've grown up and you know that you've made a difference in their life, and that's really the gift. And, the, you know, this year of COVID has been, it's been a challenging one. We haven't been able to be in classrooms as much as we would like, but I've been in the art classroom at Runyon, and I've seen the magic that happens there. And, and uh, it, is, it is truly a special place where um, kids are drawn and find talents that they didn't even know they had. Uh, and and truly it's a growth model right you see that you see what they they begin with early in the year and what they can do at the end of the year but beyond that from what they did in pre-k to where they end up in fourth grade when they leave and, and that was something that really stood out to me um, that I see in your classroom and that it just makes me really proud of you and uh, I know for all fine arts teachers this is a celebration tonight for fine arts teachers to uh, to have a teacher of the year because we in Conroe ISD believe so much in the arts and we invest heavily because we understand the value. So um, I think tonight you, you not only represent all of the elementary teachers in Conroe ISD, but I think you also represent the fine arts teachers. So I congratulate you. Certainly uh, a worthy honor for you and we are proud um, to have you win this award. Thank you so much. It is such an honor. Absolutely. I can't well, thank you enough. Absolutely. Well, what a wonderful night this has been. Uh, it's truly a celebration and an opportunity for us to to celebrate teaching, to celebrate teachers and educators of all kinds, people that invest in young people and invest in our schools, uh, just to feel the emotion tonight of having our winners present. And, and, and we fibbed to them a little bit, I will tell you. We, we told them they were finalists to get them here, but they, they didn't know that they were winners until their essay uh, just started being read. And so uh, to see how excited they were when they came in the room and to feel that and sense that, and their principals are here, Ms. Volcor, Volcor, Volcor is here. Year for um, with Runyon and it's a uh, I know they're excited as well um, it, this is really a campus win and it's it's really uh, exciting for all so once again I want to say uh, a big thank you to TSTA Conroe to, to our leadership in TSTA Conroe thank you um, for giving us an opportunity to celebrate with you tonight um, and and lead this celebration uh, on your behalf. We, we do appreciate it. It's something that we are honored to do and hopefully we have done you proud um, this evening, TSCA Conroe, and um, we look forward to celebrating our winners with you uh, this evening as well. So thank you all for joining in. Congratulations once again to all of our winners, our rising stars, our humanitarians of the year, friends of education, teachers of the year, and our district teachers of the year. We appreciate you being a part of our celebration this evening. And remember, celebrate teachers each and every day. They deserve it, but especially this week, let us all find a way to show the teachers and everyone in our school buildings how much we appreciate the work that they do. Thank you all and have a great evening.